Hi, this is Attorney Mike Gravel coming to you from Chicago. As usual, thanks for coming out. We got a fun one today. We're going down to Texas. We're going to see Judge Wrangell. This case, oh, I forgot. This, this case was sent to me, and I've got I've gotten a few from him, so I want to get the name right. He's got a cool, he's got a cool, uh, let, let me look here just so I get it right. It's Old Squishy Guy's Garden, and he's got a great IG page on gardening if you're into it. Go, go check it out. But uh, he, 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 uh, he, he gives me good tips sometimes, and this is no exception. Uh, it's Judge Bonnie Wrangle. I think it's Bonnie. Judge Wrangle. Uh, th that's all it is. Down in Texas, and we're going through a call. And uh, we, we're go we, we do a few cases with this one attorney, and he is just a ham. I, I mean, he's an absolute ham. But it's uh, it's fun to watch. It's just very entertaining, and uh, th there's sort of some development as it goes. So, so let let's get this party started. Okay, what do the boys have to do to get you to hit like and subscribe? It's pretty much all I have. Next one is Mr. Wyatt, Derek Wyatt. Mr. Wyatt, are you still with us? Yes, ma'am. I'm still here. Good. At this time, call calls, calls number 2018-49. There you go. You, you saw this backdrop. That that that's the opener that you got. You got a special attorney. And I mean, I'm a patriotic guy, but that's over the top. I don't, I don't care what you say. It's straight out of the uh, the Texas Law Hawk Handbook. They're probably friends. 951 Manuel Givera, announcement of counsel, please. Can I get out the state, ready, Your Honor? Uh, Derek White, on behalf of uh, Manuel Rivera, respectfully ready to proceed this afternoon. And you want to waive his presence, or is he here, Mr. Wyatt? Uh, he's a, I, I see him right there in a blue shirt. Oh. He's a truck driver. It looks like he's in, uh, uh, he looks like he's behind the wheel of the big rigs. Mr. Rivera, there you are. Do you recognize your attorney, Mr. Wyatt, Mr. Rivera? He's not connected audio. He not, he's not he's not connect with your audio. He's not uh, connected. Can you hear me now? There yep. you go, Mr. Rivera. You recognize Mr. Wyatt? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry about the apparel. I left home. I forgot my nice clothes at home. That's okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for that. Oh, that, that that's cute. And it that, it is a good excuse. I mean, we always see people being inappropriate in court. But this this guy's driving. He's he's at the appearance. He's he's polite. He happens to have a t-shirt on, but he's driving a truck for crying out loud, and and couldn't be uh, more respectful about it. And and the judge ate it up. Mr. Wyatt, you recognize your client as the defendant in this case? Yes, ma'am, I do. Let the record reflect that both have identified each other. What's the offer in this case, Mr. Nungaray? Judge offers to reduce it to a class A criminal trespass of habitation, two years deferred. Mm -hmm. It's a great deal, Mr. Wyatt. <laughs> Judge, we got a 2018 burglary of a habitation case that, you know, probably is more of a criminal trespass deal. <laughs> but the thing about it is the complaining witness died. All right. The complaining witness died. And there were a couple other people present. All right. One of them was the baby mama. Uh, and in this situation, Judge, my client got arrested. He had a truck up in Chicago, and this is for you, Chaz, as well. He had a company truck up in Chicago. He gets pulled over, arrested by surprise. It takes about a month to extradite him back here to Chicago. The company had to hire a tow truck to... Uh, uh, you know, tow the truck and then get another truck to, you know, deliver the rig and all that kind of stuff. I had to pay all that money. My uh, client, of course, no longer works for that business. So my client had to go through that. Well, yeah, the, your client no longer works for that business because because he got canned as a result of this. But this is just fantastic. The interplay, well, you, you'll see, I'll, I'll stop interrupting, but it's She's got a, a, a an over-the-top personality. He's got an over-the-top personality. You think, okay, how's this going to go? Well, how it goes is they like each other. <laughs> and thank you. Is it Fulgent or Fulgent? I, I don't know if the G is hard or soft there, but thank you, Mike's Naughty Adventure Fund. 
could always use it. <laughs> and I detailed this in a long email that I just wrote to Curtis while I was waiting to, uh, I was waiting my turn in line here. Not to mention, if you read through the statements, you really can't believe what the deceased complaining witnesses really say. Just read through baby mama's statement, and you have to say to yourself, you know, grandma, God rest her soul, was exaggerating. <laughs> My client's been going through this for a long time. As you can see by his personality and disposition and his mannerisms, he's a great guy. Do you know what I mean? He's got no prior criminal history. Uh, it's a fantastic wreck. It really, really is. David Nunez, you know, David's a friend of mine. He didn't write this down or anything. He was, he was like, you know what? I'm 90%. I'm going to dismiss this thing. It just never got done. So I'm asking you this humbly, you know what I mean? As, as a humble lawyer here in El Paso, I'm not good at too much stuff. You know what I mean? I just oh, try to do what I can for my clients. So I'm humbly, as a humble servant of people who are in trouble, I'm asking you to consider a dismissal here. And when you meet with Curtis, because like I said, I gave Curtis a long, uh, a long email. Uh, you look at Curtis, look him right in the eye and say, Curtis, how about one for the people? <laughs> what a closing line. <laughs> what a that is fantastic. It is so over the top. The eagle behind him is distracting. He is like way, way too much, but she ate it up. And like, I don't blame her. It, like it won me over too. He clearly knows his file. I mean, he's, he's, he's like, you know, really out there, but he knows what he's talking about and what he's saying from a legal standpoint makes a lot of sense. The main complaining witness is gone. It's really hard for the state to make this case. Thank you, Captain Cagus. Cactus. All right, WTF. <laughs> You've walked in on an awesome call out of Texas. Closing line. Mr. Nugurai, what do you have to say to that? I felt like I watched one of your commercials. That's how I felt. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's why I'm on that. Mr. Nugurai, that at it. was funny. I, I didn't know Chaz had that line in him, but I, I, I'm impressed. <laughs> It is it one that you can dismiss? The guy's been through so much already. He's a great guy, even if he is guilty. And plus all the drama we're going to have to do with the translation of the grandma statement and the interpreter. I mean, the, 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 the trial, I think, would work in my favor because it's so complicated and stupid and ridiculous and time-consuming with the, with the language barrier and, and trying to impeach a dead person. Anyway, now, obviously, I don't want to even think about that risk because, I mean, there's probably a good chance that you could convict the guy even with a dead CW. You know what I mean? Uh, and it's very, it's very, very reasonable. It's not an unreasonable thing. But I was just telling you, with all the crap this guy's been through, you know what I mean, and all the complications that are associated, would you guys just give it the old college try and consider a dismissal? And that's all I'm saying. Will you talk, will you talk to Curtis about it tomorrow, Mr. Nungaray? Yes, sure, sure. Okay, with that kind of pitch, I think you should. Let's set this up in about a couple of weeks, two to three weeks, Mr. Mr. Wyatt. Sure, two yes, ma'am. You can do that. Great. Two weeks it is with that pitch. Thank you, Mr. Wyatt. Did you have another one? I, I do, Your Honor. I do. Oh, the next one is Cameron Stennis, 2021 26 23. Announcement of counsel, please. Sure, yeah, sure, I'm sure. have to to interrupt, but am I, uh, am I dismissed? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Sorry. Yes, sir. That's okay. Bye-bye, sir. Bye-bye. Okay, the next one was Stennis, Cameron Stennis, announcement of counsel. Samantha Rogg, on behalf of the state, state's ready, Your Honor. I'm covering for Mr. Duke. Thank you. Uh, Derek Wyatt, on behalf of Mr. Stennis, I see uh, Miss uh, Miss Rogg, who looks like she's woken up a little bit. She was very <laughs> sleepy this morning. <laughs> I, I did gym the night before, and I was in three different courts at the same time. It was chaotic. <laughs> yeah, she had, she, had, she had no makeup on. She, <laughs> I did. Yeah. It's the same amount of makeup, but just different lighting. <laughs> but you know what, Ms. Ruggle? Wow. Ms. Ruggle looks beautiful without makeup. She doesn't need you, it. Judge. Like us old people. She doesn't yeah. know. Without don't, it. Don't say that in front of Judge Bryant. That's all I'm saying. I don't even kid myself. You know what I mean? 
<laughs> I just fully admit that I'm old. And I, I, I'm not, I'm not uh, saying anything bad. I got my Illinois and my Abraham Lincoln sweatshirt. <laughs> That's my better. It was a rough in the house. It's, 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 it was. It's, tough being, it's tough being a father. It's tough I'm, being a father 53, and it's tough working at Dems at night. I've been there. I oh, know. Oh, I know that. I was up at 5 o'clock in the morning, too. It's been a crazy day for everybody. Ms. Rago, you look beautiful. Don't put on any makeup. <laughs> Mr. Wyatt, I hope you can a nap soon <laughs> to yeah. catch up with your sleep. What yeah. is the offer, Ms. Rago, in this case? Um, it's 10 deferred, $500 fine, court costs, UABA, and then must admit on record what gate and keys belong to. Originally, there was a 90-day ACOP. We will waive that because the defendant's been in jail for um, over 100 days, Your Honor. Okay. That doesn't sound too, too bad, Mr. Wyatt. What, do you, what pitch do you have for this case? <laughs> no, ma'am, that doesn't sound bad at all. That doesn't sound bad at all. Um, this is the one where the, uh, the, the, the building is your complaining witness, right? The, 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 uh, the motel six. Oh, he shot into the whole motel, right? <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. And I appreciate it. And the, and the dogs love you as well. Uh, but th this, this guy continues and I can just tell you from practicing, I've, I've been doing this a long time and I, I know personalities like this. You can't be this over the top until you've earned it. So he's been in front of her a long time and she knows that he's competent. That's why she she puts up with it. You can kind of earn this level of rapport with judges, but it takes time. And uh, what he's doing, I can tell you as, as as a litigator, is he's pointing out the the nightmares that they are going to have trying these cases. And he's absolutely correct. <laughs> and it's effective. It's a deadly. Down dead. the motel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Uh, yes, yes. Well, the guy. I, how long has he been in? Do Do we know? Hundred, hundred days, about. All right. In all fairness, the guy's been in 100 days. I just checked my portal. I don't really have any videos. I don't have any of the statements or anything. Honestly, from what's up on portal, you can't even make probable cause to arrest this guy. And he's been in 100 days. The wreck is probation. Can we let him out? There's not one piece of evidence that's up on portal right now. Not one. Not enough to hold so I think it would be fair under the circumstances if we can let him out so, so I can see all the evidence. Allegedly, there's video recordings and all this kind of business. And allegedly, there's witnesses who got statements. But I've, I've gone through all of it, you know, several times. And I went through all of it today just so I wouldn't be, you know, uh, misrepresenting myself to the court. I don't really see anything that, that, like I said, can be used to convict him. So would you agree to a bond? Ms. Rago? Um, this technically isn't my case. I can relay the message um, to Mr. Duke on it, and um, he can kind of evaluate the situation on it because it is his case, and I don't want to step on toes. You, you discussed that with the aristocrat Ray Duke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he, he knows all of these people, and uh, and this is going to get done. I can see it right here as, as, as this progresses. By the way, thank you, Investigator Seventy Seven. Uh, so uh, it, it's it's crazy. You you can you can maybe not like his tactics, but I'll tell you what: if you got a defendant, he's he's got uh, he's got uh, a potential dismissal going on, and he's got a guy sitting in jail who's who's probably going to get out right now because he's saying he have not uploaded enough in the portal to even make probable cause. And uh, they're they're thinking, yeah, th there's there might be some truth to that. So. It's, he's he's doing a great job, and and he knows his files. He knows the, the the facts, despite the fact that apparently he didn't sleep last night. Oh, Captain Cactus, a couple of pounds for your feather duster fund. <laughs> All right, let's carry on, <laughs> Mister. You know, Thank you. Can we do this? Well, let's because nobody was given notice. It was a bond hearing. I'm inclined. Tell Mister Duke. Let's start an email, Mister Wyatt. Send it to Mr. Duke, to Ms. Rago, to myself, but I'm inclined to give him a PR bond in light of the fact that you guys are offering probation. Now, are you telling me that the information is not uploaded or you've already seen everything on Portal and there's nothing that you see that can there's, be used? There's nothing that can be used to convict him. I mean, there's a uh, there's a police report that says this, that, and the other thing happened. Okay. And I'm like, well, where's this video that shows it? Where's this witness two that said this? Where's this witness one? Okay, that's fair. The other deal. 
Okay, talk to Mr. Duke about all that. Start the email, request a bond hearing. We'll put it in a yeah. bond hearing, but I'm inclined to agree to a PR bond without a hearing, Ms. Rago. So please tell that to Mr. Yes. Duke. Please. Thank you, old dog. Email. Okay. And I, ap I apologize for that. Um, the only reason that I ask is I was going through my notes. I saw on 1115 of 21 um, that... Uh, we started emailing uh, Mr. Duke regarding the, um, uh, what do you call it, the surveillance and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then in December, Ray Ray said again, hey, we've got the surveillance and the statements and okay. we'll update those and blah, blah, blah. So it's just been a while. And that has kind of caused me, you know, during the hearing to have that. Right. At the I understand. I, I went. Okay. So, so far we've had two cases called. I mean, I don't know this guy. I've never seen this guy before. So it's not like he's my buddy. All right. But so far, we have had two cases called, and neither one of them are done at, the, at this moment. But it appears that the first case is going to get dismissed, by the way I read the tea leaves. And it appears that the second guy is getting out of jail on a PR bond, by, by the way I see this. And, and, that, and those are his first two cases called. Uh, if, if, you're, if you're a defendant, these are good results. I'm trying to stand by you on, uh, on that, Ms. Rago. Thanks. Judge? Yes. Just so the court's aware, I do see a, a bond was given by the court on November the 23rd, 2021. I gave him a complete PR bond? No, Judge, it's a $100,000 split, 50-50. Okay. Well, I don't know what the offer was then, but the offer now with probation, I'm inclined to give him. A full PR bond, but thank you, sir, for letting me know that. Thank you, Mr. Casanero. Okay, start the email. Please, Mr. Wyatt, start the email and see what you and Mr. Duke and I and Ms. Rago can agree to, okay? Yes. We're gonna We're going to set this up for another three weeks, see yep. if something can be done. I'm we'll uh, trying to get a PR bond. Here. I'm just here, a member of the working class. I will start off that email to the aristocrat, Mr. Uh, Mr. Ray Duke. Thank you, sir, very much. You may be excused, Mr. Wyatt. Have a great day. Thank you, I, Mr. I, I believe I've got excuse, one. Your Honor. Yes. What did you say, Mr. Wyatt? Uh, uno más cosa. Oh, you have the case? Okay. Thank you, Ms. Rocco. You may be excused. Have a great day. Which one is your last one, Mr. Wyatt? Uh, mi cliente se llama uh, Torres. Oh, that was the next one. Yes, we should have taken care of that one. At this okay, this next one is fun. It kind of goes sideways for the prosecutor. I did another video with the, with this prosecutor and her. Uh, Judge Rangel is in serious danger of getting her own playlist. I think I've only got two. She appears in another one, but it's a short clip. So uh, Judge Rangel may, may end up with her own playlist before this is over, but y you'll see the prosecutor here uh, gets into a situation that's pretty funny. This time for cause, cause number 2016-3558 at Andina Torres, announcement of counsel, please. As new out of state, ready, Your Honor. I'm Derek White. I have Ms. Torres, respectfully ready to proceed, Judge. And Ms. Torres, where are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Judge. How are you? How are you doing, Ms. Torres? I'm doing Ms. Torres, are you okay? Good you look oh, good. Ms. Torres, I can barely, you you're have a lot of static. Ms. Torres, do you recognize your client, your attorney, Mr. Wyatt? Yes, I'm Mr. Wyatt. And Hello. Mr. Wyatt, Mr. Wyatt, do you recognize your client as a defendant in this case? Um. Yes, ma'am. Let the record reflect that both have identified each other. Mr. Nungaray, what's the offer in this? Oh, let me go back to, to Cameron Stennis for a minute. Mr. Wyatt, did you submit yes. a waiver? Did you submit a waiver of arraignment in that case? Uh, it's always practice, Judge. Um, it's, it's set up for a, an arraignment today, so just make sure it was done. That's all. Thank you. And that's where you get favorable treatment, not not bad treatment, but just favor. OK, the, the judge knows. So she wants a waiver of arraignment. She forgot about it. He says, that's what I always do because he's a pro and she has confidence that he's going to do it. That's when you but it takes a while. But that's when judges get a little bit looser and they know that they can just get to the substance 
because they know you're not going to do goofy stuff. It's it's very subtle point, but but that's where he gets that's how he gets that level of rapport with her. Thank you. An arrangement. Okay. Yes. We're back to Ms. Torres. Okay, so what's the offer, Mr. Nuntaray? Judge, I was gonna see if I can, I guess, just talk about the case. Um I'm I'm a little confused. So there's notes from Josh saying that he was thinking about doing probation. Um, before I put a rec, I wanted to see if that's something defense would accept or what, what their position is. Mr. Wyatt, would you accept probation? Uh, sure. So it looks like there was a six TDC, six TDC rec, then a four TDC rec. And then Josh said he was considering probation. Um, I can offer 10 deferred. Sure. There it is. Talk to her, Mr. Wyatt. How much time do you need so we can reset this? Um, I, he's a couple weeks, Judge. Two weeks it is. You got it. Okay, so he goes three for three in my book. He, he gets a potential dismissal. He gets a PR bond, and he gets an offer of probation. And I don't know the underlying charges, but he liked it. So he gets an offer of probation for his third client. Now, now, now he, uh, now he gets in the prosecutor's head. Okay. Talk to your attorney. We'll see you in two weeks. Okay, maybe she can't hear. Thank you, Mr. White. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Torres. You guys here. We'll see you in a couple of weeks, Mr. Wyatt and Ms. Torres. Thank you. We will. We will contact you, Ms. Torres. Okay. Sabi in. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Okay, have a good day and Thank God bless. Have a nice one. You too, Miss Torres. God bless everybody. <laughs> Bye. God bless you, Nungaray. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you. You all may be a sweet you. group. The last, Mr. Julio Vasquez, that's Mr. Bill Hicks. I had, I had a question. Do you remember, um, Judge, do you remember Danielle Chisholm? Daniela Chisholm. Daniela Chisholm. Yes. What happened? Chaz, is it true that she's a DA in your in the office? I heard I her and her dad are both DAs in the office. I don't know who that is, so I don't know. Oh, because I heard she was being moved to the 171st. <laughs> oh, what? maybe maybe you didn't know. Maybe um maybe you know more than I do. Wait, wait, wait. She was moved to the 171st, Daniela? <laughs> I'm just kidding you. Somebody just, <laughs> somebody just told me she joined the DA's office. Just literally, like somebody just told me. And so that, that made me think back for, uh, for an incident that occurred. And so I just wanted to ask Chaz if she was at the DA's office. Well, why did you say she's moving into the 171st, Mr. Wyatt? I'm nervous. Oh, I, Are I, you I, going I, somewhere, Mr. Chaz? I just, I, I just said that to get your goat, Your Honor. Well, you got my goat <laughs> and you got my attention, Mr. Chaz. Are you going somewhere? Um, I'm not sure, Judge. If we can, we're on YouTube Live, so. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. Don't worry, Chaz. No one's watching. Uh, I don't know. I think you struck some <laughs> truth to this. <laughs> Might be. See what you do, Mr. White. I think you struck some truth. Okay, we're gonna talk about this. Oh my. Yeah, I'm shocked. I I, uh, I hope I'm not the one that let the cat out of the bag. All right. Oh, uh -huh. yes you did, I think. I don't have no clue. And Mr. Chaz is not saying anything. He's saying he, doesn't, he wants to talk about it off of YouTube, which means nope. there's some truth to that, which I'm not very happy with. You know what? This all just materialized in like 45 seconds. You should be a part of our meeting now, Mr. White, now that you included yourself. Well, I'm just saying I'm 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 a bit shocked. Well, the judge is always the last to know. You think the judge is always the first to know. The judge is always the last to know, and that's what makes me unhappy and upset, but not much no, I can I do think, about it. I didn't think there was any truth to any of this at all. Clearly. I thought it was just a joke. But when I asked Chaz and said he couldn't talk about it, I was like, oh, my gosh, maybe it's <laughs> actually true. Something is there. You're right. That's what shocked me. Yeah. 
That I, shocked me, Mr. I, I shouldn't be I shouldn't be repeating gossip and Chaz, you should have a better poker face. <laughs> Oh, we're or maybe, or maybe the judge needs to be told the first time, the minute they're <laughs> thinking about it, or the minute they know something, or the minute something happens. That's what should happen, Mr. Wyatt. <laughs> I would, I would be frustrated too, Judge, because if, you know, if I know about it, it or there's probably a lot of people commenting about it. Oh, now he's and twisting. Absolutely, absolutely. And I'm the last to know. And Chaz is sitting here saying, "I plead the fifth we're on YouTube." Just does Daniel, does she, seriously, does she work at the DA's office now? I really don't know, and I don't want to uh, answer any more of your questions, all right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I really don't know. That answers, I don't know who she is. that answers your question. That answers your question, Mr. Wyatt. I don't know who, who that is, so. That answers your question, Mr. Wyatt. I, 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 you're letting the cat out of the bag, I'm going to get to the bottom. Back. I just I'm thought it was. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. I thought it was a joke, a complete joke, but there might well, be to it. Obviously, it's not a joke. No, I'm a little bit upset, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Thank you, Mr. Wyatt, for letting the judge know. Thank you. I appreciate that, because nobody else does. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Wyatt. Have a great day. Thank you. I got him. Sorry to leave on such a note. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Have a great day. Thank you. Oh, I just thought that was fun. That the, that attorney was fun to watch operate. I like the judge. I like the attorney. I like the prosecutor, the defendants. I mean, the whole thing was just sort of, I won't say it. I won't say it. It was nice. It was nice. They were nice people. I won't say, say the word I always say because I get in trouble for it. But uh, it, it was so good. And then I like, I, right to the end, I like the attorney. And then he try, he plays the innocent act. Like he just drops, he just drops some gossip bombs for no reason. After three good results, he, dro he starts dropping gossip bombs just to entertain himself. And it hit better than he even expected. It was fantastic. And it was entertaining. Thank you all for coming out.